hello guys today i'm going to explain you how we can solve this problem known as number of ways of cutting a pizza and uh, this is a hard problem so yeah the problem statement says that uh, we are given a rectangular grid where each cell contains an apple or it does not contain anything that means it's an empty shell so and also we are given number of cuts that we can make so for a given k we we can make uh, k minus one cut uh, that means we will uh, make a partition uh, of this particular rectangular grid and we can make this partition either horizontally or vertically so if we make a horizontal partition the upper half we are going to give away it to a person and if we are going to make a vertical partition we are going to give away the left half of uh, uh, this partition to someone else so what we need to ensure is that whenever we are giving this one to someone that particular piece should have at least one apple in the in the slice like and also the the last half the last part which is not uh, i mean which cannot be partitioned further should also be given to someone else so all of these partitions should have at least uh, one apple in this so for example if we take this one we can uh, what are we supposed to find from this is how many ways we can distribute this so for example if uh, we can make a partition here horizontal partition and this is a valid partition because the upper half is having one apple and the lower half has three apple then we are left with this the lower ha lower half rectangle and then we can make two two different ways to part uh, to make a partition one is to make a partition on this first grid and then on the second grid similarly we could have make an initial partition on the first column itself then we would have been left with this particular rectangle and then here we have only one way to make a partition so overall we had three partitions three ways of doing this partition such that each of these partition is having at least one apple what we need to do is we need to find this for a given rectangle and number of uh, uh, number of cuts to make and as this long answer could be very large so we are supposed to find the answer by doing a modulo of 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 so let's see how we can solve this by visualizing some examples let's consider this grid of cells where each red dot in a particular cell represents an apple in it so what option that we have here for now the option is that that we can make a cut at any moment uh, i mean at any place for a given rectangle so let's say for example we, we make a cut here the only thing that we need to keep in mind is that when we make a cut there has to be at least one apple in the left half and as well as in the right half so yeah so if we cut it horizontally it should be on the up upper side and in on the lower side that means the rectangle on the upper side and the rectangle on the lower side should have at least one apple let's say we cut this one in from here so the upper one is now as the problem statement says the upper one should be thrown away that means to be given to the someone else so let's mark this one as uh, already vanished ones so the left ones are here this particular cell uh, I mean this particular grid in this particular grid now we have another option of making a cut Un uh, until we have some K left we can make uh, we, we can make another cut so what can we do we can another we can make another cut let's let's say now this time we cut from here so we just need to make sure that any cut which are going here or let me just choose a different color here so we can distinguish between two cuts so now if we make a cut here we are going to ensure that this left half is going to have at least one apple and then the right half so how many ways we can make a cut we can make a cut here we can make a cut here we can make a cut here so yeah as you can see as all of these columns are having at least one apple and our yeah so this way we can ensure that we are going to have at least one apple in either half see this example uh, here we have taken the same example from the given pro uh, the given example in the problem so here what all the options that we have to make a cut in this particular state of this rectangle 
so we can make a cut here like we can make a horizontal cut from this particular place like uh, let me just choose the line so we can either make a cut here and then we are uh, because we can see that the upper half is having at least one apple and the lower half is also having otherwise we could also make a cut uh, we cannot make a cut here because if we make a cut here this lower half is uh, left with uh, without any apple so we cannot make a cut so we can only make a one horizontal cut in this uh, particular rectangle state and if we talk about the vertical cuts we can make this cut because we are left with two apples on the left and then we are left with right uh, two apples on the right as well and if we make a cut here we are left with another three apple here and then in this way so overall we can uh, see that two uh, we can make a initial cut like one cut on the horizontal and two cuts on the vertical so overall how is this going to look like so at any particular state we are left with a particular rectangle and then we will decide on each horizontal cut and each uh, vertical cut if it is possible or not how are we going to decide if it is possible or not is that if we are making a vertical cut we will check whether the rectangle in the left left part of the partition is having at least one apple as well as the rectangle in the right half of the partition is going to have at least one apple also if we make a, a cut on the horizontal horizontal line like this way then we are going to make sure that the the part on the upper half and the part on the lower half are going to have at least one apple so how are we going to know whether there is an apple in the lower half and the upper half so for example in this case we are we were left with this uh, particular rectangle and if we were going to make a cut here the rectangle area is uh, the new rectangle is going to be this one this uh, starting from this to this one so what we need to know is from a particular in, uh, from a particular point till the end of this particular coordinate what's the amount of apple that it is going to have this is similar to what we can uh, say is finding uh, sum in the rectangle rectangular uh, grid uh, where we could have used the prefix sum method uh, which i have already explained in a, another video i'll uh, share the link below in the description we can use that particular method to find a rectangular sum uh, the area for for this like the sum of this rectangle so to summarize our approach what we can say is uh, initially we have been given a rectangle which starts with uh, which left top coordinate is 0 0 and the right top coordinate is m comma m comma n and when then we keep on making some cuts and in the end let's say if at any point of time we reach a particular cell uh, we reach a particular state where the rectangle remains to be this one that is starting from uh, i comma j till m comma n right so let me write this that we are left with a rectangle whose left uh, left top corner is i comma j and right most corner is m comma n so we are at the state i comma j and also we are left with k cuts to make so what are we going to do is now at this particular moment we will try and find all the possible vertices partitions that we can make vertically and all the uh, possible partitions that we can make horizontally and then we are going to recursively check with the remaining rectangle let's say for example if we are going to make a cut here like uh, in this particular one this is a valid partition so we are going to check with the part uh, we are going to now further go ahead and recursively check for the rectangle which is starting from uh, which is going to be this particular one that means the top left corner is this this thing and rightmost corner is going to be the same as in all the cases although there is one thing that can be really tricky that uh, we can find the sum of the lower rectangle using the prefix sum uh, method and but we to ensure that this is a valid partition we also need to know how many elements how many apples are in the upper half and to find that what we can do is we can keep track of uh, the total number of apples till now that means the total number of apples for a given rectangle and what we will do is we will find the sum of all the apples in the lower half and then we will subtract the 
this amount from the total amount to get the uh, number of apples in the upper half and then we will only consider this partition a valid partition if both of these values are greater than zero once see once we have seen that this is a valid partition that means both of this uh, half are having greater than zero apples then for the next recursion we are going to decrease the total count by the amount that we are going to leave from here that means the total minus the um, the count from the upper half and that will add another variable to our uh, state so we can simply keep here is the total till now so this will tell us the total number of uh, apple that we have uh, that we we have for this particular state so with the state where we will have i j k and total let's see how we can code this so as you can see i have already solved this problem using the dynamic programming approach uh, in this step uh, in this code block what i have done is tried to find out the prefix sum for the rectangle and uh, i have explained about the prefix sum in a different video which i'll share the link in the description so what i'm going to do is i'll start from 00, zero and because we are given k and with the k we need to only make uh, k minus 1 cuts for example here we had k is goes to 3 so we are going to make only two possible cuts uh, so what i am also sending to my recursive function is we have k minus 1 cuts to make and total is telling you the amount of apple that we have in the whole grid so how i am going to do at any moment if i have I don't if i don't have any k left so i'll just give that particular piece that particular left piece to the last person otherwise what i'm going to see if i have reached the end that means i haven't consumed all k that would not be the valid case so i'll return zero and i'll talk about this particular thing later and as i said what i'm going to do is i'll try to first try to break try to make a valid partition urgently and then i am going to here check is if i am able to make a partition vertically as well so from a particular cell i am going to try out all the possible cases like i'll try to find the rectangles uh, sum if i make a partition here let's say if i did a partition here i should know that what's the amount of uh, apple are going to lie here so that's what i have done using the find count function which uh, which uses the prefix sum method to find the count of apples and then to get the count of apples uh, for the upper half i'll just subtract it from the total amount of apple that i have and i'll check whether both of them are not equal to zero that means this is a valid partition then i'll just add this one to the mod i think i should just uh, uh, change this one but still it turned out to be working surprisingly not surprisingly but yeah what i'm doing here is in the end i'm also taking a mod so it would make a difference so yeah and then once we have uh, once we have uh, the found up valid partition i'm going to recursively check for the rest of the rectangle for the remaining rectangle similarly here i'm doing this for the vertical partitions as well and I am storing this particular state into dp table of uh, of this idx, jdx, and k, where k tells you the number of uh, number of cuts left till now. 